Welcome. I'm so glad that you can join me here today. 265 excerpts, pages 659 right through 60 and 61, where we take the intermission. And it's two pages from the Sovereign Light, named after my ministry. And this is a course in metaphysical spirituality. And won't you join me here today? My name is Reverend Maria Arvanitidis, and the unfolding of this topic here today to uncover some more of what is the soul and how is it different from the ego? And like always, I invite you, fully present, to be here in this moment. And we do this by taking in to consideration our breathing <clears throat> in this moment, opening up the space to where we feel most comfortable standing, sitting, lying down. Focus on your breathing and make sure to always have your back straight. And just take it all in. The more you participate, the more you will get out of this. Throughout the day, you can always come back to this and let it be your guide. See what you get throughout the day. So now you found your center point, stillness. Let that sink in and surrender in perfect trust to this moment. And you do this by leveraging your breathing. How deep are you able to breathe? Let's pay attention to our breathing in this moment. Breathing in and out. And when you feel comfortable and good and ready, we shall begin. <clears throat> Pages 659. <clears throat> the soul is the inner mirror that of infinite potential. It can be all things and with its own unique source. From the self's electrically processed mind to compare from and that of its exterior decoding to be reality. And with this introduction, let us bring forth the activation for the day to see what comes up, what triggers, what emotions, what feelings need to be worked through. What is it that you're getting? Any BSs? If it's not the proper fitting, by all means, modify it to what best will service you. And let's begin. Lesson 231. <clears throat> Sounds good. I'd like to hear you say these words out loud. And from a metaphysical universe to vibrate into existence with all things that you are of your soul that reads 
you as energy forced into a body and made up of your senses to decode as real. It's, it's, it's a lengthy one and it's, see what you can get out of it. It's, it's a combination. And put some feeling into it and see what your beliefs bring out in your reality and what needs clearing. And, and see what level of doubts, insecurities, uh, perhaps even laughter or embarrassment, what comes forth for you. And just kind of see why and, and, and go deeper. Are you ready? Sounds good. From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real and take a deep breath in and just absorb what has been said and are you brave enough and ready to say it with me let's go from a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy, forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. And just take another deep breath in. And just for this daily affirmation, you can always find it. I will post it up on TikTok <clears throat> under, I think it's, you can find me there. I think it's uh, R and small letters, casings, Maria, and the capital A, initial of my last name. So, and you can always play it and it goes over and over again until it just sinks in and makes some sense into your holographic field that will pull up and out of you, reflecting as an echo through your circumstances. <clears throat> and so I will start to read. Not much to say, rather. <clears throat> that the mind is the focus of finite perspective and must in this way learn to remain in the present moment of the here and now and emptied of all things from its past and future. Intellect is good, but not made of excellence, and thus the mind must learn in silence and within the stillness of all possibilities. The soul, and just like the ego mind, is a manifested product by which the spirit of the self can have some recollection and of what it needs to do. The soul is in 
a flippant way to what the ego can be understood to work through and integrate within this lifetime the personality and character of thyself. <clears throat> the oversoul, on the other hand, is of the many slivers and as is consciousness to its life force that is higher self. Both soul and spirit are required in the same way is the electric magnetic alchemical component. <clears throat> and so <laughs> what is it that you get when <clears throat> this affirmation is it, does it offend you that you, you, you say, oh, me as energy forced into a body? What do you get from that, just by that statement alone? <clears throat> as we have mentioned, it is the life force. And with every breath creating that torque, that tube torus of breathing in and out, and we get this pillar of light that we discussed, <clears throat> that center point field of this present moment, that we can also expand outward, the deeper we are allowing ourselves to breathe, we will ascend and naturally illuminate, expanding and stretching that pillar of light out. And through the heart to vibrate the resonance of our frequency. <clears throat> and so, from a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy. forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. So are we decoding from a genetic lineage or have we cleared that all past and into the present moment. The soul has memory from all previous information <clears throat> held deep within the physical formation, decoded by its light and spirit being God force. That is the self and what it means, the higher consideration of it. all the patterns and the meaning from comparison and that the self has learned within this body is where the ego mind became a product from. The program of manipulation of its molding and from its senses that it did not know was taught the taste of an apple and just the same it could have been taught from a potato. When told it was an apple, all the same it to eat instead and think it were eating an apple rather than a potato. In this way, the world it knows it does not. <clears throat> and with no meaning, it can go much further to expand and be. Without the soul, the self will lose itself, and this too must it find transcendence to integrate for it, as well as the introspection of all things outside itself as it knows to feel its universe to be. And <laughs> the purpose for today 
is to help expand the consciousness a little more before it manifests into a numbered frequency and waveform level. It was in its purest stillness and then it came collectively from the unseen as energy to form. The self is the unique spin to having choice from where it resonates and at any given time to invest with the collective that is the greater good. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank you today and congratulations for making it through to the 231st lesson. This is a rest period to take the lessons independently as a review from this course, 365 day program. And so take this day to recalibrate and make notes and review. And I will leave you with today's affirmation. From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy, forced into a body, and made up of my senses to decode as real. And something that wants to grab and pull out. Let's investigate. <laughs> oh, isn't that beautiful? And I will leave you with today. From a metaphysical universe, <clears throat> I vibrate into existence. With all things, I am of my soul that reads me as energy, forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. <sighs> From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real. From a metaphysical universe, I vibrate into existence with all things. I am of my soul that reads me as energy forced into a body and made up of my senses to decode as real.